Greeting YouTube, let's talk about equity. So there are three main definitions of this word. Equity, um, we have one, the quality of being fair and impartial. Two, the value of the shares issued by a company. And three, the value of a mortgage property after deductions, a deduction of charges against it. So I have a certain amount of equity in this building because I've lived, we've lived for 10 years and I've never missed a payment. In fact, we were already always a little bit ahead on our payments every single month. Pardon me. Um, but the first definition of fairness, of equality and fairness, is something that gets under the skin of white nationalists because they're very much against equity. They very, very much want to make sure that everyone views the world as a pie and they get the biggest share. My wife works with a woman, uh, a couple of them actually, unfortunately, uh, who are red caps, white nationalists, um, ones that believe right up to the day that Biden took the inauguration that he wasn't president and still feel that dump uh, was cheated somehow, even though he lost the electoral college vote and he lost uh, the popular vote by I think the biggest margin ever. People really don't like him. Funny about that, him being a white nationalist and a rapist and a bad businessman and a liar and a cheat and an idiot. So, yeah, it's amazing how people don't like that man. Um, and when the topic of equity came up, because Biden talked about it, her coworker intentionally misinterpreted the first definition as the third definition. And actually presented the absurd concept that the federal government was going to come and take her property away from her. You know, a straight cis white woman and give it to minorities. That's what she was choosing to believe that meant. Because it was the most outlandish and absurd thing. And it was the worst possible thing that she could think of to, way of to interpreting that statement. Because she's passing that through the filter of being a white nationalist because that's what she is now i know what your people are going to say well how do you know she's, i don't really give a shit I, I don't so we haven't like for example we have a name for people that were members of the nazi party during world war ii we call them nazis stop pretending they weren't just to stop if someone votes for the dop in the 21st century they are aligning themselves with a white nationalistic terrorist organization. And whether they are passively supporting it or they are actively engaged doesn't matter. Their beliefs don't, beliefs don't change the world. Actions do. And their actions are vile. Their actions are to support a white nationalist party and a white nationalist president um, who is, you know, the most racist president we've ever had uh, a title I personally think was probably held by Woodrow Wilson prior to uh, 45's reign of terror um, but there are people willing to misinterpret the concept of equity in that manner because it fits their narrative of being the victim because they have to frame it as them being the victim because it keeps them from having to face the fact that they have enjoyed white privilege for their whole goddamn life and what, one of the things that bugs the bugs white people when they hear white privilege, they interpret that again egregiously, intentionally, um, disingenuously. That they, they hear it means that well, white people have never suffered. That's not what it, white privilege is. I've suffered. You've suffered. Every white person in the world has suffered. I've been dealing with crippling mental illness my entire life. I'm diabetic. Lots of things that caused me to suffer. Deaths of friends, family members, loss of friends. Lots of things have made me suffer. But you know what has never made me suffer? This. The level of melanin in my fucking skin has never made me suffer. Nothing that I have ever had to deal with in life has been because of the color of my skin. Not one negative thing unless you talk about sunburn that's white privilege not that you don't suffer 
but that your whiteness did not cause any. Because if you're black or brown in America, that alone will cause you to suffer. Just being black will cause you to suffer. It will cause you to not get jobs. It will cause you to be over-policed. It will cause you to be arrested more. It will cause you to be found guilty more, sent to prison for longer. It'll, it'll cause you to have your ability to vote taken away from you more often. It will cause you to be beaten more often and murdered more often by the state. And then have a whole lot of white people throw their hands up and act all outraged. Even while at the same time, members of their own political ideology are beating cops to death with fire extinguishers. While other members of that same crowd are carrying Blue Lives Matter banners. Irony and satire are lost on these people. All they have is lies and deceit and hatred going for them. And if you're telling me that I'm blanketing these people in this, I'm painting them with a broad brush, I'm only talking about what they say and what they do. That's it. What they say and what they do. That's intentional. So if they say things, I'm going to believe it. And if they do things, I'm going to pay attention and I'm going to remember. And I'm going to judge them on the things they say or do. And I don't give a shit if there's a racist bone in their body. We need equity in America. We need fairness and justice. And we've got these people in the way. They're going to make this process really hard, but we have to keep going. So let's talk about equity, not the property kind, the justice kind. And to all the white nationalists out there, I wonder if you're smart enough to know what this means. <laughs>